May not have been the result fans wanted, but there was some celebrating tonight. It was St. Patrick's Day, March Madness, and just the feeling of getting things back to normal after two years. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne went to Hartford to see how people enjoyed the holiday. The capital city was filled with Irish pride tonight. Right after work, the bar started to fill. It's like amazing. It's like to get out, be able to celebrate something good. At the half door, the party was inside and out. Lots of booze, dancing, everyone just feeling extra lucky or somewhat past COVID. I really had no idea what to expect the past couple of years with COVID. You know, I had no idea, really. Um, last year was all right coming out of COVID. Two years ago, obviously, there was no St. Patrick's Day. This year, we're having a full, full day, music all day. Uh, we're putting out some quality food. And people are having a good time. Across town, we found the same charm at Vaughn's Public House. As soon as we open the doors at 9 o'clock, people are ready to come in and uh, shake hands, kiss babies. Uh, it's been fa fantastic all day long, and uh, the city is alive. People were also shamrocking tonight to watch UConn in March Madness. Mayor Luke Bronin felt like pure gold after seeing people giving his city a shot. You can already see a difference in the feet on the street and the energy and activity. You know, our companies are back uh, as of this week. That's going to make a big difference, too. And the party will continue this Saturday. The city will be hosting their St. Patrick's Day Parade, and the XL Center will be hosting Monster Jam. To learn more details about those events, we'll have them posted on the Channel 3 app. In Hartford tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. A very busy weekend is ahead.